balls deep in the fifth dimension. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is your boy, the gimmick, King Man Bun, Jesus, Johnny Raggy, all the names, so many names with nicotine gum stains on his tongue, ladies and gentlemen, for episode 15 of The Squatch and The Bun. How unreal, how unreal that is, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's so unreal. Real. Jesus Christ. There he is. There is the energy from the man himself. OMG. It is the Sasquatch. Oh the psychedelic God. Sasquatch. Folks, we are ready for episode 15, and we have returned with so much that has gone down. So, folks, 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 folks. Do, do you think the term folks has a gender to it? Is there I think, a gender behind folks? I think. Uh, it's more masculine, I feel like, but I, I would say folks is. Pretty inclusive. Folks is gender neutral. A hundred percent. Hundo P gender neutral is folks. And folks <laughs> now I'm on it. Dude. I have to you say it so many times now, every everybody and everybody is a folk. And we have we have a started off with a rest and peace to a folk. Pat Patterson, we have lost him today on this day of recording in the rest a legend, of the world. A true great. The first ever intercontinental champion of the WWF. We want to say rest in peace. And what a week we have in store for you, ladies and gentlemen. I We have now jumped into December. There is a Christmas hat on my head. There is a Santa lifting, getting heavy, getting big on my shirt. And CJ Benson, I can't believe that we're already in December. What has happened? I can't believe the quarantine has flown by this far that we are already here. Uh, basically, it's going to be 2021 now. What happened to 2020? You know what I mean? It's it's really over and done with at this point. Right? Yeah, crazy, right? Not many memories to be made in 2020. I made oh, a lot of memories I, in 2020. I didn't do shit, I but swear to God. I feel like uh, a lot of people, I don't know. It just went by kind of, it's weird, man. I can't believe it. You know, I, I really am shocked that the year has gone by this quick. But that's what happens when you're stuck inside for most of it, you know? And uh, I'm pretty bummed out about it, you know what I mean? I, I, I feel like I lost the year. I feel like I, we all lost 2020. Yeah, right? Almost. I feel, like, I feel like we did kind of lose the year. Well, I feel like the reason I say that it went by quick, in my opinion, is because, like, you just make all these memories throughout the year, you know, and then you could be like, oh, damn, that concert we went to and had a great night in freaking February felt so long ago. Oh, man. Remember all that shit we did, like, you know, March, May. If you're making memories every month, you have all these things to look back on and be like, oh, wow, what a great year. Oh, my God, that felt like it was so long ago. I can't believe that. Whatever, you know. But if you don't do shit, then you look back and you're like, oh, fucking, well, I just sat in my room, you know. <laughs> and, like, I don't know. Time just kind of freaking just all the days melt into one. None of them really stand out from the other. Oh, my God. So it's kind of like when you look back, you're just like, oh, fucking holy shit. We've been doing it since March. Like, what the fuck have I been doing with my life? You're you know? sitting on my ass, not doing kinda much. Like, that's how you look at it. Like, oh, what what have I been doing with my life? Here it's and there, like, I got oh, up I and I walked it. on the GBT. Yeah. You know? yeah. What the fuck? Still sitting on our ass, but fucking... I think if we go back into quarantine, we should do a winter GBT. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're going to fucking die out there. That time. Oh, my God. A local hikers are dead. Uh, lo- hikers slash pro wrestler slash podcasters found dead on the Green Bell Trail in Long Island. <laughs> they were traveling north to south this time in attempts to beat their last record and actually end the GBT. Because we didn't make it all the way last time. Spoiler alert, for Christ's sake. We got pretty damn close. We were. I, I, I would consider that we fucking we made it. And let me, uh, the one big thing about coronavirus, about this pandemic, is that when I am, um, my sleep schedule has been fucked up for God knows how long. And CJ, you can attest to this. My sleep schedule was bent over sideways and just absolutely fucked. There is no way I can fall asleep at a reasonable time. I don't know what it is. I got to do, I got to somehow try to fix it. But because of that, I was uh, trying to keep myself entertained. I was on YouTube last night, you know what I mean? And for some reason, YouTube suggest. I feel like, I swear to God, YouTube made this happen. They suggest to me, the news broadcast of the assassination of JFK. And I fucking, they play the clip 
And they fucking when when JFK gets shot in the head, this motherfucker's dumb gets blown the fuck off, bro. It's some crazy shit. Like I've when you, seen, I, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't seen it in mad long. I was like, damn, like this motherfucker's dome just got blown the fuck off. So I fucking looked it up because I was like, I want to see this full screen. So I looked it up, and next thing you know, I'm just clicking on this like the weird side of YouTube, and it keeps bringing me to the darker and darker side until I'm at a Columbine fucking documentary. And I don't remember, like, I'm shot. Like, I've been, I've been out of, like, like, school world or whatever for a while now. I am shot in the dome piece. I don't remember much of, like, what the fuck happened back when. But I was like, all right, let's, let's see what the fuck this is all about. So I'm fucking, I click on this shit, and I'm watching it go on and go on, and I'm start, it's starting to click in the back of my head. I'm like, holy shit. I'm, like, remembering this shit. Like, I must have learned about this shit at one point. Yeah. And then it get, and I feel like, we are both in the same era where you were going to know about this. Do you remember signing some big thing that had Rachel's challenge? I was going to ask you if you remember that's, Rachel's challenge. Dude, yeah. And that's when it sparked in my yeah. head because I'm watching she this shit. She got shot outside. Dude, uh, yeah. I'm watching this shit and then it sparks in my head and yeah. I was like, holy shit. Fucked up. The Rachel's challenge. I was, it was yeah. like such a dark memory thing in the back of my head that just that. I like, recently listened that to a, like a, a recording of like a. Like the librarian, like on the phone with. The oh, police. it was in that shit. Yeah, that dude, that shit and was the, like. And the haunting. people are in the freaking library, and you hear them like calling these kids out and fucking shooting at them. And oh shit. my god, that shit was fucked. Up. Yeah, it is. Really these fucked kids up. were crazy, bro. They they just they ran, ran in, they shot everybody. That shit was fucked. Oh Jesus Christ! But that's like what I don't even know how. Like YouTube brought me there. You know what I mean? They suggested this fucking JFK thing, which brought me to look up one thing, which brought me to another thing, which brought me to Columbine. Well, I'm not gonna. Like, this is. I was like, like, YouTube wanted me to watch this shit, know, like man. at fucking I five fucking, in the morning. I was at. Uh, I was at a, a family's house for Thanksgiving, and they had uh, like uh, little kids there, like five years old, is the daughter. And we were on YouTube, and we were just like, she wanted to, like, dance and, like, whatever. So I was putting on, like, uh, dance music for kids, you know? Like they have, like, songs that for are... Children. And, and, and it's like, you know, it's stupid shit. It's like, if you're a boy, a boy, if you're a boy. What the fuck? It's wait, like, wait, 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 it's wait, like wait, dance wait. like an elephant. And you gotta, like, fucking, ah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like meant for kids, you know? What if the fuck do you girl, look up for this garbage? girl. If you're a girl, it's like clap your hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, look up if you're a boy. Yeah, if keep you're, going. It, well, the whole gimmick is like if you're a kid, dance around. So I mean, <laughs> that's like the whole gimmick, you know. If you're a kid, dance around. But I mean, whatever. And like, it, it, I felt like it, like we, it went from like all this kid stuff, and like you know how it just keeps suggesting stuff, whatever. So like yeah, we, we kept dancing going. to like other kid stuff. And then there was a point where it started suggesting like more and more like provocative shit. Wait, what? What do you mean? And like, like it started suggesting like like actual music videos with like people's like asses in it. And oh, shit. like six like, nine, like Nicki Minaj. Shit. Yeah, 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 exactly, dude. And like this this kid, like this girl, was like putting on music videos, and she knew all the words to like Cardi B shit, and was like like showing me fucking shit where like it's like Wait, talk, it's like talking about gross shit, and I'm like like wow, I'm like yo, she's five, yeah, wow, yeah, wop, yo, straight wop. up, you know, and she's like. The way she was, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, when she was doing that, like, the when you're a kid dance around, she was, like, dance, like, like, it was, like, a cute, like, innocent, like, a kid dancing around, you know? But then when these songs came on, like, her dances were, like, more provocative. And it, it just got weird. I was just like, all right, let's just, let's do something else. Let's put something so else this on, one from you know? Like, There's no way kids is this, should be is this what you're doing now. Directions. So listen closely this is it? And let's see if you can follow yeah. the directions that I give. And get ready, yeah, because kids. later on, we're gonna dance. We're gonna get lit. Maybe I don't think I don't know. Let's see. If you're a boy, a yes, boy. Dude. If you're a boy, clap your hands. Oh, oh yeah, dude. If you're a girl, a girl. If you're a girl, stomp your feet. So it, it, it's just stupid shit like this, you know. If and then it it goes into boy, this whole freaking. If, if you're, you're a kid, a boy, dance around. And everyone freaking dances and goes ham and shit. They go ham. Girl, yeah. Girl, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, well, we were all going ham, you know? <laughs> Dude, I think this is our new fucking intro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that fucking oop, 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 oop. This is the new thing, right? right? We're going to go, if you are a boy. But the point is, I, th I think YouTube, boy. like, does, like, suggest and, like, put you, 
put you into things that you really shouldn't be getting yourself into. Dude, like whether why you're the a fuck? kid, it was five. Or yeah. whether you're a freaking guy trying to go to sleep. How the fuck did I end up on Columbine? Like they know, like they want me to keep me up. Like it's some weird shit. 100. Yeah, it's not, it's not good song, for the, though, it's not good for the burn. Up, boy. A boy. Yeah, hella catchy, man. A lot of these kids' songs are mad catchy. I fuck hard with that shit, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Jeez. Straight up. Oh my god. How was your Thanksgiving though? My Thanksgiving was um I don't even know. We just uh I think we all sat together. Did you listen to King Cuomo's orders and put your mask on between bites? And stay away from your family? No, it's just uh, the people that live here, you know what yeah. I mean? It wasn't anything fucking crazy. Yeah, I didn't crazy. really do much crazy, but I, I wouldn't anyway, you know? I don't know. It's definitely fucking, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't really care. I just want to, uh, I just want to wrestle and I want to go see the Dead and Company shows, bro. That's I want to really go it. see, I want to see Joe Russo, you know? Maybe we can uh, indulge in the, in the belly strings and we can, uh, I just want music. Thank There's you. There's a lot of bands I want to see, man. I want to see Goose. I want to see Pigeons playing Bang Bang. King Cuomo. Is I want to see freaking. I want to see these bands perform. You know, I was just. Uh, I spent my birthday in uh, Burlington, Vermont, over the weekend. Yes, here's a fuck. I just trip. turned twenty-seven. Holy fuck! <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, I'm getting old. Good God, brother! Yeah, our good brother. Shout out to him too. Rad Brad just turned thirty this past week. Yeah, Rad Brad did just turn thirty. Our our birthdays are a day apart. You're I'm the twenty ninth, and he's the thirtieth. Jesus! So that is some true Benson bro shit. <laughs> but yeah, now um, so I was in Burlington for the weekend, and what a weird freaking place, man! I really like it, but. It's definitely a weird place. Is this your your uh, the, the Squatch searching for a new homeland? Is this a candidate after you've been there? Would you say this is a candidate for home? After being there for uh, a couple of days, I would say that I like actively want to move there now. Like I I liked it a lot. I would love to move there. Hundo Bay, this is your spot. Hundo Bay, I think I I love Vermont, dude. You know, I really like Vermont. And I, I don't the only know. time I've been there is it's when we stopped. So uh, we stopped for we drove through it a little bit on our way back of New Hampshire. Yeah, and uh, we stopped there at one McDonald's and they had spicy nuggets for the first time. I said, "This is a Vermont thing. Huh? They, got, <laughs> they got mustard on their burgers and stuff. Weird <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Burgers. Weird shit up there. So that's the only only experience I've had was at the Vermont. They have a, they have a McDonald's. lot of weird shit in Vermont. And it's like everything is so good though. It's like all like all the food is like farm to table shit. So I've never I. I've been to all these restaurants and like they're just all like so f- fucking delicious. Delicious. I've not had a bad meal in Vermont yet, and I've had many meals in Vermont now. What is their key? What is their key gimmick? Seafood? Well, they have this fucking From like Maine? they make this like Cabot cheese. It's like a Vermont th- thing, and so they have like their own like Cabot cheddar and Cabot whatever. And I don't know, like this fucking cheese is just like the the best fucking shit, man. Like it's it's honestly like so good. And they have all this like maple. They have these maple trees, so they have maple syrup, and it's like all this like pure Vermont maple. So a lot of things are like maple flavored, and it's like all from Vermont. Their whole thing is like keeping their shit from Vermont. So they have like their freaking apple smoked Vermont maple bacon, and oh, like what? all like the bacon, egg, and cheeses. I have like fucking this cabbage cheddar with this like homegrown like fucking like. Vermont maple fucking bacon and like, dude, these fucking sandwiches are like incredible shit, man. I love me a bacon. I get oh, so oh I love me like, a bacon. I get cheese. Yeah, like, uh, dude, the burgers are like cooked with like cows that are like fucking from down the street. You know, it's like it's, it's like everything is like fucking right there, and it's like everything is just so good. And people are so fucking weird and, and cool. And there's a lot of music play like Bur- Burlington. I got the vibe of like this is like such a music town. They were talking about it and like all the art everywhere. It's just like there's so much psychedelic weird shit in Burlington. It's a really I think you would really like it, man. I think like oh maybe maybe next summer we can fucking go back there. You think this is spring. a town? MBJ. If could they you? have a if they have a concert there, I want to go there for a concert and like experience that. Experience. So, I mean, town. I'm still looking for a place in Long Island, but I am. Also looking to go to Vermont, and I feel like maybe I don't want to go there for the winter time. Like, I don't know. Were you cold? I don't think the Honda Civic's gonna make it in the winter time there. You know? Oh no, you need some four wheeler. I need like, yeah, exactly, four wheeler. But like, maybe like, I don't know. Got to be ready for snow. We'll see what happens, man. You know, I can't really say what uh, what's gonna happen in life. You know, and I know like there's a lot of shit I'd miss about Long Island, but 
the cool thing about it would be that it's so it's like it's pretty close you know it's like five and a half hours away i feel like, I feel like i'd be able to come back to long island like probably like once a month you know bless long least. island but like yeah, it was just cool, and I love. I, obviously, I love hiking and being outdoors. And I, everybody out there was outside, like and doing shit, like skateboarding, running. They had skate parks all over. They had like freaking people who just love the outdoors, man. Hiking, skiing. There's so many outdoor shops. It's like it's just a way of life. And I was on Lake Champlain, and right across the lake it's like the Adirondack high peaks and you could see all the freaking highest mountains in New York, like right there across the lake. And it's like, oh, it's just like so inviting, you know, like when you see that shit, you're just like, how could you not want to go over there and explore that shit? You know? And it's like an hour away from the Adirondacks. And then you're in the green mountains and it's two hours away from the white mountains. So I just feel like all the biggest, like baddest, coolest mountains in the Northeast are like they're all right there at like at at the at the freaking ready, you know. I don't know. It's just like what a great location if you love to hike and you love to be outside, you know. And that's a big part for me. Like that's a big thing for me. I, I I've been going to hike every single weekend, you know. I've been going to the Catskills. I've been doing this shit, and like the the nearest mountain is like three hours away, but like. If you lived in Burlington, you would have these dope mountains in your backyard at all times. Right there. And that shit is just like, I don't know. It just makes me feel good when I can get up, breathe in that nice air, and like just look out and see a, a peak in the distance or like a freaking, a, like, ah, oh man. It just makes me feel different. It's just a different vibe for me. I don't know. Like, I just love the mountains, you know? But I think I, I would miss the beach if I lived there, but. Every time I leave the mountains, I just miss the mountains immediately. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck the beach. But I did spend some time in the Adirondacks. The first day I was there, I was in the Adirondacks. And we went to the Olympic shit, like, where they had the Miracle on Ice, dude. Oh, yeah. And all these, like, cool, like, we saw the bobsled uh, rink. Just all the cool Winter Olympic things that, I don't know, like, I've always seen on TV. And I've never, like, got to see in person ever. But, like... That shit was just so cool, and like it's just a, it's so weird that they, that America chose Lake Placid for their Olympics. I was like, what a weird like location for like the Winter Olympics. Like I feel like there's so many cooler mountains maybe in the West, or I really don't know why they chose Lake Placid, but it's pretty sick. And the town is like engulfed by the high peaks of the Adirondacks. It's like all these mountains just surround this shit. And like when you walk out the door of the fucking like Olympic like hockey arena, it's just like. You look out, you see Lake Placid, and behind the lake, it's just endless mountains. He's like, you're surrounded. You're surrounded by mountains when you're in the Adirondacks. And, like, it's such a cool fucking place and a cool feeling. And, like, Lake Placid's a really beautiful town. But we went, I I got to ice skate on the freaking rink of the freaking, of the Miracle Game, where all these Russian tears were shed, dude. On the real one or the movie one? Or is it the same one? It's the same one, man. You know, I mean, oh, the, the movie shit. the movie takes pl- is based on a real team that beat the Russians. So they filmed it like, there. Well, th- I think they filmed it in the real place too. Yeah, unreal. This is even crazier because when you told me about this the first time, I thought I, I thought it was just the the movie one. I still thought that was like cool as shit. But now you're telling me it was the real one. Well, the fucking. I mean, they played the Olympic Games in fucking Lake Placid. That's unreal, where they beat dude. the Russians. You know, so you were and, on, on that ice. You know, in that arena. That's balls deep shit. Dude. And it was the- like fucking cool shit, man. Like they had like the freaking like all the memorabilia there from the game and stuff, and you could see the lockers and like all that shit and like. I'm not really a good ice skater. I, I, I went to school in Buffalo, so I skated a little bit there. But, like, that was, like, so many. That was, like, five years ago. I have not skated since. And I skated very minimally while I was there. And I was not very good at it. Little skates. And, dude, I could not do, can do this shit, man. I was, like, holding on to the walls at first. And then I started oh. getting better. And, like, I was, like, I don't know. At first, I was, like, slipping all over the place. I wasn't falling, but I slid all over the place. I took one bump on my oh, back. Oh, Jesus, dude. I, fucking, I was, I was like, just going to say, man, you don't like, want to take a bump when you're skating, but sometimes no, it happens. It, it does, you know? And I took one bump, and I was like, fuck. Like, I got up right away, and the guy came up to me. Oh, are you all right? I'm like, oh, I know how to I'm all right, man. Fall, you know, buddy. I fucking got up right away and shit. Exactly. I know how to fall. I'm fucking good. And I'm like, all right, just don't fucking fall again, you know? So I started getting more speed and going a little faster and faster. Faster for my own good, man. And next thing I know, I fucking am slipping and I'm trying to catch myself. And I fucking fall, like, 
I do a front bump now. I go, I go to put my hands out, <laughs> no. and they totally just slip out, and all the weight comes down so fast, and I just fucking smash my fucking chin on Jesus. the ice, dude, and like it rocked me, man. My jaw, my head. I thought I might have had a concussion. I was like so woozy. Holy fuck! And I fucking popped myself up, man, quick. But I was like, holy shit! I was like, damn. Yeah. I knew my jaw was hurting and shit, but I was like, whatever. You know, I'm good. So I skated around another lap, and as I'm skating, I feel my mask, because I was wearing like, uh, what are they called? The the buffs, man, you know. So I had the buff over my face, and I just feel it getting more and more wet, and I'm like, damn. So I touch it, and then I see the blood, and I'm like, shit. This man's gushing. I don't want to make a fucking scene out of this thing, cause like that's the last thing I need is like, oh, COVID nineteen on the, shut down the ice <laughs> and fucking. We need to clean everything up, and this man needs to go to the hospital right now. This I, man I, I needs didn't to want, leave. I didn't want like everybody fucking, else needs to leave. Everybody's day is thing. ruined today because of my fucking chin. I was like, come on, man. I didn't want that shit to happen. So I was like, no one can see me. So I, like, I get off the ice. I'm like, we gotta go. I'm like, babe, fucking, my shit is bleeding. I'm like, I need to get this thing looked at right now. So I go to the fucking, I take my skates off. I go to the bathroom, and I'm like, let's see how bad it is, and. I'm the kind of guy that will like not get stitches. Like I'm like fuck that. I don't need, I don't have health insurance. So I like just applied for it last week. But I was like I'm not I don't even have health insurance right now. I'm not fucking getting stitches. And I look in the fucking mirror and this shit is like literally like the size of my of my finger, dude. Like it's like a fat gash, dude, on my chin. It's like you you can see the muscle like Moving keep, around keep and shit. Keep going. I'm going to do this in, one for you too, right here. In my fucking... In my chin, dude. You could see this shit. And like... That shit was just so gnarly looking and so fucked up. Let me see if I can show the cam real quick. But like, I don't know. This shit was just so gnarly. Keep talking to him. So I... I had to go to the emergency room because it, it it was too fucked up. I was like, this shit is like literally, it's not going to close. It was like this fucking big in my face. So I'm in, the, I'm like, fuck it. I have to go. Like my girlfriend's driving and I'm fucking cleaning this shit in the fucking passenger seat. And here's the fucking quote of the day. I'm like, I'm like pissed about this shit. Cause I know how the ERs are. And I'm like, they're going to make me fucking COVID test. They're going to do all this shit. I don't even have health insurance. And I'm fucking sitting there. I'm fucking so mad with the thing on my fucking face, holding it. And I look at her and I'm like, I quote our fucking boy Joe Exotic, and I go, I will never financially recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> she started dying laughing. Show the chin. <clears throat> this is this is the outcome if you can peep it. Oh man, so a little bit gnarly, and I got the five stitches in there, but these guys were so on point it wasn't even funny. So I do want to shout out. The yeah, freaking high peak, whatever it is, fucking emergency room that is right in uh, Lake Placid because... They saved your life, huh? They didn't save my life, but they got me back on the road in like 20 minutes. And I was, if, if that was Stony Brook, dude, I feel like I would still be there. Oh, uh, you most definitely would <laughs> still be there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you'd be, like, oh, like fucking doing paperwork and shit. Like, they, don't, they don't give a fuck about you in Stony Brook. This you know? guy is definitely These people COVID. were just like... The van. They were like, get in there, sit down. And like, you know, like you have to fucking sign all the paperwork, fucking talk to all these people, fucking give them your insurance, all this shit. These doctors here, they just, they came in to me and were just asking me questions and they were filling everything out for me. And by the time I had my stitches in, everything was done. I was ready to go home. And they were just like, oh, uh, I'm like, I'm like, I don't have health insurance, blah, 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 blah. And they're like, oh, well, I told them how I applied for it, whatever. For, I got, I do have Fidelis now. And they're like, Fidelis. oh, just wait until you get your Fidelis in, and we'll charge you then. They're like, we're not gonna, we're not gonna charge you. We're, I don't want to make you pay. They don't want to fuck you. I'm like, are you serious? And they're like, no, nah, like, you don't have health insurance right now. It's all good. Like, we'll just put, th we'll put it through in a couple of weeks when you do have health insurance. You know, call us in like three weeks, a month. I'm like, oh shit, I'm like that is so cool. You know, and like, I don't know. I mean. Granted, these people are, like, right next to, like, all the high peak mountains and shit. And a lot of these mountains have, like, the ski resorts and everything. And only Olympic athletes train there. And I'm sure they're dealing with injuries. Like I'm, I heard, like, somebody in the bar that night told me that during the wintertime, there's at least one fucking helicopter rescue off the mountain, like, once a week, at least, minimum. 
And I'm like, that's fucking crazy. That one like, time a week, huh? At least once a week, they're making a helicopter type rescue for a fucking skier or a snowboarder or a hiker in the high peaks and bringing them probably to this emergency room. So I imagine that they see a lot of crazy shit. And my fucking gash was uh, was nothing for them. God bless so, them. Yeah, I, I was in good hands. Like, I was very fortunate about that. But then the next day I get to Burlington and, and literally the first thing I see is this dude just walking down the street with his balls out. Sex. Like straight up, like a backpack on. That's it. <laughs> no shoes, no socks, no fucking, no underwear, no pants, no shirt. Cock out and a backpack. I asked my bartender that night. I was like, what is good with this? Is this your hometown? You're from here? I'm like, is this a, is this a thing that happens here? I'm like, please, like explain explain your boy, you know? Your boy. And, and she, uh, this girl was laughing her ass off. She's like, she's like, oh my god. She's like, I've personally have never seen that, but I've heard about that because Vermont has a weird law where you can't take your clothes off in public, but if you leave your house with no clothes on, it's totally legal. Hell yeah. And I'm like, that's kind of weird, man. You know? Well, that's what I was saying about Vermont being weird. I mean, it's fucking weird. But but what if you have his, that was like, my uh, intro to Vermont this weekend like the if, first thing I saw when I got do you there, have man. to go shoeless you know and the whole fucking shoe I don't know if it's like socks on or so are considered you know, you know. clothes you're fucking you're out or do you have to be fucking completely naked I mean know? I don't know this guy was completely naked I feel like maybe he knew the loophole and he was dude when I first saw him he was walking down the street and. We were right next to a police precinct, and I'm like, yo, he just walked by like 20 <laughs> cop cars. I'm like, I'm like, are you, I, I looked at Brandon, I'm like, are you, sh no one's gonna say anything we to We should this guy? do that shit for a video, bro. Let's go back to Vermont with a groovy grizzly head and fucking walk around. I'll walk around <laughs> fucking with my cock out. I'm like, dude, no one's gonna say anything to this guy? Nobody? I'm like, what the fuck? But I guess that shit is legal, you know? And then, I mean, we were in a park, like, we turned around and went to this park by the Lake Champlain where you could see the freaking sunset. And like it was like five minutes later and this fucking dude is still naked He's in back, the street. Baby. He's walking past us. I'm like, oh my God, dude. Like, through the park, man. There's kids there and shit. Fat cock his ass. Uh, like, what the fuck, dude? This millimeter monster is ready to munch. <laughs> It was a strange thing, man. It was like it was but definitely. Do you think strange. he did it for a joke, or do you think he was doing it to get off? You know, I think he was know. one of those guys that is just like. Uh, he was just like, "This is my law. I can do it. I'm gonna do it." No, me and Brittany thought he was like one of those guys that are like that think that they're like so fucking awakened and like woke that they're like on another level of like spirituality. I feel like he was like one of those guys. He looked uh, like one of those dudes that would be like, "Oh, fucking." You don't. Your ego is so fucking big that you can't even take. You can't go naked. Like you know, I, I'm fucking. This is the way we're supposed to be. I feel like he was like one of those guys. You know, unreal, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, there's a lot of fucking weird hippie motherfuckers. Did you out see there. the fucking dong though? Did you get a fucking glimpse of that shit? Like I saw his fucking dong. Too. Was, it, was it worth fucking showing the world, or was it fucking some little fucking? Nah, it was some little. It was mad little, yo. Oh, unreal. Yeah. yeah. It was it was mad little, yeah. He's you know? Maybe God, God would not even a fucking ha not even a half chub. Maybe he could be a fucking grower, not a shower. But we could fucking you hunt. never know. He could be a grower, yeah. Would you be walking around with a fucking erect, if fucking when you're naked? I don't know. That's the, the thing, dude. You can't. Do you get fucking... arrested then if you're fucking walking? <laughs> oh, dude, if, if you got a boner, like, but you're walking around with a hard. Do you get arrested then? Yes or no? That's the law. I want to know. Yeah, no. Well, that's, God forbid. That's a good you know, God forbid. You're like, oh fuck. What am I gonna do now? You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you can't hide. You got a hot on. What are you going to yeah, do? He's not hiding. That's that's what he's not doing. What are you going to fucking do if you got a hot on? People there are like, some people are really afraid of COVID-19 there. Koba. They're right. they are terrified of the vid, yeah? yeah? I'm over the vid. I don't give a fuck about the vid, and I'm ready for the vid to go. Goodbye. I'm over Can it. I tell you a story about uh, that girl's dog. On the There was like a, a beach, and the dog, like, she was playing with her dog in the water and like throwing a stick and playing fetch, and there was another lady there with her dog. Get, get your and dog this away dog from me. saw that dog and he like ran up to him and like was like trying to sniff him and shit. And like this girl saw this dog coming and she picked her dog up and lifted him over her head and started screaming, If you can't control your dog, put him on a leash. He can still spread COVID 19. <laughs> he cracked Like, what your dog fuck? is going to spread COVID 19. And she was like shaming this girl for having a curious dog. I was like, What the fuck? I would have fucking beat her ass. Like, I it was like some crazy shit. 
Okay, right. fuck that now. Your dog is. She was just COVID? screaming about COVID nineteen in the park, top long, top of her lungs, about some cause some girl's dog. Like, what the fuck? People are weird, man. Maybe she was on some shit. My dog is going to get the vid. The vid. Fuck your dog and the vid, bitch. You're not gonna get it. No, and uh, people. I'm over. You know what I mean? I feel like if I got the vid, I would survive most definitely. And if I didn't, I would be like, thank God for taking me out because I'm so sick and tired of the quarantine that I don't give a fuck. Take me away. That's all I got to say right now. Take me away. I'm over it. Yeah. From the vid. It's making me depressed. I swear to God. From the vid. So I want to fucking, I want to ask you another question because we talked about Rachel's challenge and how you had that in school too. Did your parents force you to go to those like uh, anti-drug, anti uh drunk driving kind of fucking event things that they would like hold outside of school, but at the school, like it wouldn't be a school time, but you would go. What? No. They were, oh my God. My mother tried to scare me straight so bad. She would take me to these things all the time. And there was fucking, they were like assemblies. I didn't even know they existed. They were like assemblies of like, don't do drugs, uh, don't drink and drive kind of things. And you know, I'm going to be honest, you know, this is pretty, because like when I'm, when I'm drunk and I know, I fucking should not ever drive. I don't do it because I'm like, oh, this I don't, is not, I don't do it. This yeah. is not a good idea. So I don't care what the. I've never really, I've never driven it before. But so that's the thing. Like I guess it, it, it did scare me straight, you know. But I fucking there was, and she would bring me like every fucking year to this shit. And I fuck like when I was young, I wasn't like the sixth grade. I feel like she was bringing me this crazy shit. But there was this fucking girl that would fucking. She got hit by a drunk driver or some shit, and she got trapped underneath the dashboard, and she fucking burned up and survived, and she was all fucking burned. She was like a burned, straight burned victim, bro. Like shouldn't have been like Freddy Krueger. Look, Freddy, fucking Krueger, and I forever, like my entire fucking, like up until fucking, I don't she even would know talk him. to you guys and, sw- and put the no, fear of God no, no, in no, 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 no. It was it was like on video, like they were doing uh, fucking like set, like like the fucking officer of fucking. Shit. Suffolk County, some Suffolk County officer was fucking like, all right, we're going to talk about drugs and shit. I swear to God, I can probably go upstairs so quick and find like one of these fucking stupid uh, DVDs. Uh, it, it shit was just so ridiculous. And, but that shit scared the shit out of me because I, di- I never, ever, ever, ever wanted to look like Freddy Krueger. Pretty much. I was like, that shit is so fucked up. And it's I would have up to I, you, though. That's the thing. It's like oh, someone Jesus else Christ, could be drunk man. driving and fucking hit you, man. That's the thing. I'd be like, God. Today is the day, brother. <laughs> I, know, <laughs> Since I do not want it. If I got to fucking, if the looks go, now that the looks are here, if they go away, fuck. Uh, burning has got to really suck, man. That's got to be one of the worst ways. Uh, burning and drowning has to be the worst ways. I think to burning die. is probably the worst. I, 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 I talked about fighting. it. I, I think <laughs> drowning sucks too, but I think there's a point where you accept the drowning and you can probably just relax and go to sleep. You think burning probably takes longer, yeah? I don't think fucking, you're ever going to be able to relax while burning like I, I think that like when you're like have no air and you're like trying to breathe eventually that shit will just go to your head and like you'll probably fucking feel like you're mad high and just like drift off my biggest fears are fucking drowning but you're not gonna get that feeling when you're burning and falling it's a splat fucking you know what i mean falling, falling into a splat is a big fear or like a huge fall you know i don't I mean? know i feel like that wouldn't be that bad that's that's one of the fears falling it definitely would be scary to like and drowning to see the splat coming for like oh you know if I mean, you're like if you're like really are falling off a building and you like have like i don't know let's say it's like five seconds before you hit the ground like that's it's a pretty shitty five seconds where you, you just see it and you know it you know uh it's also got to be balls deep you know what i mean like all right here we go like i can't believe it's coming <laughs> i wouldn't believe it i would be fucking like oh fuck like yeah. I don't. Even, I wouldn't even know what to accept. You know, that, and that's yeah. the point. You know, all these people tell you, people believe in what they believe in, but that's the moment. You well, know, what you, I mean? have you the, heard the? Uh, have you heard the story about that guy that was like a? I think he was like eighty something or seventy something, and he was in California, and he signed up for this like fucking helicopter ride over the fucking San Francisco Bay. Oh my fucking! God. And he was like planning on committing suicide and shit, and he fucking took his fucking seatbelt off and he jumped out of this guy's plane. It was supposed to be just like a fucking a, 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 a plane ride over the bay. And he jumped out of this dude's plane and he landed in the fucking San Francisco Bay. And uh, he like he survived that shit and he broke almost every bone in his body. Oh. And it was like a suicide attempt that obviously 
didn't work, you know. But like, imagine, at that point, imagine that. Dude. Oh my god. So what did he? Do? Is he still alive? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I don't this know. Guy, this guy is laying there. He can't even do. He can't even do fucking Racky Radio. He can't even hold the microphone to his face. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And he full he, body cast. He is fucked for probably life. I pretty much. <laughs> if you break everything in your body, I don't think you can really recover from that like, completely. You're not. I was like, uh, I don't know. That's crazy, what? man. That's what you get for trying to commit suicide, right? <laughs> like, f- fuck you. Now you now you get a full body. Cast. Oh my god, that was God's karma. God was like, fuck you. You gotta endure this. Nah, pain. now you're now you're gonna get the serious pain. Yeah. That sucks, man. But that, that I can't imagine something like that. You know, like that. I can't you, imagine man. like a yeah, like a. Seeing that ball, having that balls deep, doing that, that and surviving, of, of like this is it, you know, like we're gonna die, this and is then it's it. not, and then fucking just like hitting the ground and just being like, ah, <laughs> like fucking your Dude, whole like that's gotta hurt so bad. You ever see the movie uh, fucking Midsummer? No, this Someone is just a, me about that. Th- so this weird. movie is some balls deep cult shit, and at the. At a certain age in the in the cult, they fucking commit suicide, so they jump off of. Is it called Midsummer or is it like Midsommar? Midsommar. It is right. Yes, and they someone the, just with told the me about this shit with the May Queen. Yeah, is it about like the fucking uh, how like the the sun will stay up like twenty four seven or some shit or like? I think the sun is up twenty four seven, and it's in Norway. Sun, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So they fucking, at some point, I don't mean to fucking, I'm not gonna try to ruin everything, but at some point, suicides are committed. And fucking the scenes are awesome. They are so sick, dude. They are so graphic as fuck. I heard it's a very graphic movie. And the fucking this other guy goes and he survives the fucking suicide fucking jump. He fucking he penciled. You know what I mean? He fucking penciled and (laughs) he fucking survived. So that shit like, oh, my God, I can only imagine like you're you're like your shit is fucked up, bro. You just penciled from fucking suicide attempt at that point. Somebody just fucking get get me out as quick as you can at that point. I don't want to be legless. That would be fucked up shit. I'd be terrified. I know. And at the same time, there's probably other people that think they're going to just like land in like deep water and, and like they're doing it for fun and fucking an accidental and suicide. Accidentally commit suicide. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm sure it's like the opposite too. You know, they just go for a little dive. They go pencil. Or maybe they don't pencil. Maybe they fucking they fl- they fucking back bump and the water hits the back of their know. head. One of my mom's friends in high school uh, committed suicide at uh, I think it was I think she said it was Smith Point, like that bridge there. You can j- jump off the bridge into the water, and I know mad people that jumped off that bridge and like put it on fucking Facebook and Instagram and shit and like I don't know. That was like a fun thing to do when I was in high school and like that same bridge. This dude committed suicide on so like did he try to commit suicide like no one really i mean i think it was i think they found a note there was a note i think there was a note but, or was it a murder but like was it a murder and they know, knew they weird. could survive that they I were like oh, the season two i think the reason he died is because it was like also like february or some shit seasonal depression well just the water is you know oh uh, hard it's probably like ice. it's probably ice and like i imagine that like so you that's go got a hypothermic probably, shock uh-huh. when you hit that water, you know, like if you hit water, that's like 10 degrees. I don't know. You got to go into some kind of crazy fucking shot. That's some, that's some February shit. That's fucking. Yeah, I, th- I would think you're done. I fucking would um, drive to Long Beach like in the summer. And when you go over the bridge to Long Beach, you see like the uh, I don't know what it is. It's fucking water coming in from the fucking ocean or somewhere. But it's like frozen as fuck, you know what I mean? This shit is fucking ice solid like the ocean. I'm like, what the fuck? That shit's crazy. So if you jump there, I could assume that would take a life. Yeah, probably. That shit is frozen shit. I'm kind of upset that I didn't see a freaking moose this weekend. You were looking for moose? I went looking for moose, yeah. The Adirondacks supposedly have moose by Lake Saranac area. And freaking Vermont has moose too, man, by Lake Champlain. And I freaking... I looked for them, dude. You know, I saw the signs that said Moose Crossing and shit, and like, I didn't see a moose. Unreal. What the fuck, man? I've been trying to manifest his moose sighting for months. I apologize. It seems like since his New Hampshire, you just need to see the moose with the fucking. They, I heard they're huge, dude. I've never. Have you ever seen one before? No, I've seen. Th- it's uh, gotta be like seeing a unicorn, man. You know, <laughs> I think it is like seeing a unicorn, bro. They're rare as fuck. And they're huge. They're I mad heard. rare to see. And they're like majestic and huge. Yeah. Huge. Huge. 
They are huge. And they're elusive. They're just so hard to see, dude. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it would be pretty balls neat to see one of those things, you know? I'm sure in Canada it's, like, common to see them, but, like, in America it's, like, so rare to see one that, like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm dying to see one. I think I might see one this year when I go to Glacier National Park. That's like the that's like the big trip of the year for uh, for me and Brittany. It's a glacier. Yeah, we're going to Glacier National Park in September. Yeah, September. So I hope hoping to see a moose in that time. I know like they have places that are popular for moose over there. A, a moose. Also, I'm excited to see, to go to Glacier because I just like freaking was looking at the Adirondack Mountains last week and like Mount Marcy is the biggest mountain in New York State. And this shit is five thousand three hundred feet, and it's massive, you know. And like, all right, so Mount Washington is the highest mountain in the, in the Northeast, and it's like six thousand five hundred something feet. But Glacier National Park has twelve mountains that are over ten thousand feet. Twelve that are over ten thousand feet, bro. So the highest mountain that I've ever seen is six thousand five hundred. This is like a whole. Another high peak on top of that. It's like they have mountains that are double that, dude. Can you drive up them or you got to hike? You got to climb. I don't think you can even do that, honestly. You can't even go, no? I think you can, but it it would be like an all-day thing. Like probably camp out on the way up and, and type shit, you know? Something that Brittany wouldn't, wouldn't do. <laughs> a uh, balls-deep adventure in the woods. It'd be a, it would be pretty balls-deep to climb a, a 10 thousand footer. Balls deep. I think they, you, I think you, they do them in Colorado all the time. They have the fourteen thousand footers in Colorado. They they call them the fourteeners, and there's fifty eight. There's so there's fifty eight mountains in Colorado that are over fourteen thousand feet, and most people climb up them all the time and run up them and shit. They run. Yeah, like ultra runners. Jesus, which Christ. is nuts, man. Which is really nuts. <laughs> but I, I just can't imagine like seeing a mountain like that in person. I'm excited to see one. Like, I've never seen one that is like, it has the snow on top all year round. You know? Oh, yeah. Like, permanent freaking. You know you know the mountains like Everest? You look at it and it's like, it always has snow on top. It's and always it's got like, a peak. It's fucking crazy. Like, I want to see that shit in person. It's always got one peak. 90 degrees outside, fucking man cold up top. <laughs> it's still snow. But, yeah. Uh, Hopefully, I see a moose soon. I will pray for you. I will pray for you that you find a moose. Yeah. And I'm praying that we find new members of the fifth dimension for Christ. Yeah, no, we need new members of the fifth. We though. need to find some new characters. And I, what were we talking about before? We had some good ones. There needs to be a fucking a pope. We need a pope of the fifth dimension, which I think we already I think got. Some one. sort of preacher character. But we most right? definitely some need a preacher. Some sort of psychedelic preacher. A psychedelic preacher of the fifth dimension. Yes. A hundo pay. We need that shit. That's been something I've, uh, you know, I think that that put, that pushes this shit over the top, bro. A fucking psychedelic preacher joins in on the mix. Oh Lord Jesus, man bun Jesus, and the psychedelic one himself, the Sasquatch, and they just preach about us. They just do their thing the whole time we wrestle. I would love that shit. I would scream. Yeah, maybe like a, I don't know what else, like a. Maybe a musician, dude. A musician. Like someone that could play the guitar. And be like, I don't know, writing songs about us and shit. <laughs> like Elias? Yeah. We need a lot. Well, you know, if I can get signed, and we'll fucking, uh, we'll be like, all right, listen, there's a fucking, uh, we got a great idea with the fifth dimension. I think some kind of like fortune teller type shit would be cool. Like, uh, I don't know. There's so many, like a fucking, like, uh, what are they like a warlock type thing? Like a war a, not a warlock. Uh, what am I thinking of? Like a witch doctor type thing. Dude. Oh yeah, it's like one of those with the uh, stick and shit. With a staff, and the kind fucking, of a staff. Yeah, yeah. And the feathers, they're the just staff, like some, some balls shit. deep shit, you know. Some witch doctor shit. That's what's. Uh, I like that sound of that. Yeah, I mean, you could like curse our opponents and whatever. <laughs> 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 you okay. gotta do that with the hands. If you could do this. If you're watching on the Racky Radio Productions YouTube channel, if you could do this with your uh, fingers, we're looking for you, honestly. We're looking for you. And if you've got a sexy, we're looking to put the groovy grizzly head on you as well. Yeah. Dirty. Yeah, dirty. I would agree with that. If you, uh, 
Maybe we can find a, a, a nice couple, you know? If you have a boyfriend that can go like this, and you got a nice... Bad girlfriend, you can do this shit right here. Yeah. 100%. 100 pay, And we will put that shit on OnlyFans, dude. I want to know right now, is OnlyFans a... Uh, I seen this shit today, and this is why I want to ask you. Is OnlyFans a small business? Quotes. Quote, small business, end quote. Is only Are fans. you your own boss? Are you a small f- business owner? Uh, that's funny, dude. I'm asking you. I don't think so. I seen that shit. They said, uh, I seen two people call their OnlyFans on fucking Instagram. I think that, I, I, I low-key think that, like, OnlyFans is, like, a, is gonna become a way to, like, fucking trap girls into... Doing like fucked up shit, dude. Mad fucking chicks I have on fucking uh, Snapchat, uh, not Snapchat, Instagram. That's the fucking thing, and they put it right on their Instagram. I know. So that, I know, they all do that. it. You know what I mean? They I know do. they do. But like, here's the thing: is like, all right, so like, what's gonna, like, right, what's gonna happen when, people, when these girls become like so dependent on that money? Like, if they're making substantial amount of money on OnlyFans, and then all of a sudden OnlyFans is like, oh. No, not anymore. You're gonna get booked by the presidential the elect. Fucking, the smell, like get these fucking, by. like, if you're if you're only source of income is OnlyFans, and then that source of income just stops because they 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 make it stop, and then someone else is like offering you contracts to do fucking like actual pornos and shit. Like I think the porn industry is fucked up. I think it treats the fucking the actresses like fucked up, man. Like they fucking use them like pretty horribly, you know, and like. I, it's not really a lifestyle that like I've seen documentaries on it and shit and like the shit is definitely fucked up and it's not a lifestyle that I would like want for anybody to get into but I feel like if only fans cut your supplies of, of making money and that was your only way of making money what else would you do they, they would leave you without any option but to fucking join this fucking fucked up industry and subject yourself to fucking Horrible shit. The porn I mean, industry. I mean, only fans. You're taking selfies of yourself. You know, you're fucking showing people your own snatch. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> if you hop. fucking go to, if you go to Pornhub, they're gonna fucking have whoever they want come in and fucking do gangbangs and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and like, you don't want that. You know, you want to be your own boss. You want to have your own small business, just showing your fucking. You want to just take pictures of your. But when they take away, but only now fans. when they take that money away, and you need that money to survive because you just bought an apartment on that funds, and you need to pay that fucking rent, and the only thing you got is a, then what's gonna fucking happen when yeah. you have fucking <laughs> gang bangs? You know, gang bangs, dude. That's just gonna happen. I'll tell you right now, it's gonna lead to gang bangs. You're getting fucked. That's so, not good. I don't want to get. That's fucked. That's like my only fear for like. People that are so into the OnlyFans gimmick, you know? That's what we're going to like, make sure you fucking also know how to do some other shit. You need besides fucking skills. showing people your fucking puss. And boots. <laughs> and boots. Your puss. <laughs> dude, yeah. I, oh, oh, I got fucking fashion over boots, and I got fucking my puss, dude. I'm <laughs> pussing boots, dude. Straight up. Okay, that's how I make my, my money, dude. Fashion over boots, and OnlyFans puss. <laughs> 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 Plus only, boats. only fans puss dude <laughs> I'm telling you I don't know. I'm gonna get addicted shot, to it and I'm gonna fucking put the groovy grizzly's I, head on that shit and make fucking millions and then I'm gonna be like oh, what am I gonna do without this money and I'm gonna have to put the groovy grizzly head on <laughs> and spread it for fucking gang bangs holy shit I'm living on fucking I'm living on 5th avenue in the city and I pay fucking 3 grand a month but the only way I was able to afford it was showing people my fucking puss <laughs> So it's like, you know, that's that's the situation you're going to end up in. And uh, that's what happens. You what know? will you do when it all comes fucking crumbling down uh, and how, nobody wants to pay for your pussy? How, how long is that going to stay payable? Yeah, for, you know exactly. I mean? it's, not, it's definitely not going to be payable forever. Cause it, are you fucking drinking Pedialyte and keeping yourself hydrated? Are you doing Kegel exercises? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You know, exactly. If you're a professional... Are you squatting if to keep that ass If you're a professional firm? pussy shower, what are you doing to keep this thing fresh? That's what I want to know. Maybe you can write that in the comments, you know? If you are a professional pussy shower, and that's how you make your living on OnlyFans, what are you doing to keep that snatch in tip-top shape? You know? Comment below. We'll fucking we'll, we'll talk like about if, it next if, time. If you have some good, some good like tips and advice to share to other ladies who 
maybe just want to freshen up. You know, I think that could uh, maybe that be a, a, a source of more income for you before it all comes crashing down. And, and you can and you can and you can freaking have another account where you can charge women for tips on how to to uh, to look the best and filter the best and whatever how else to keep you do that's so goddamn shit. good. You know, I don't know. I'm just. I'm just thinking out loud here, you know? Maybe you can help out men and women. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's funny fun. when you see people that are just like clearly just showing the puss, you know? And they have to throw in their motivational quotes, dude. And their captions are like fucking about changing the world, you know? Oh, my God. And it's like, dude. I have a good one here to end. That's on. some silly shit, man. You know, I like just just be straight up, dude. We all know what you're about. And to be honest, if I'm looking at it, I'm probably there for it, you know, <laughs> but I'm not there to hear you tell me about how to live my life and how to be a better person and and stay motivated. That's not what I'm there for. Stop no. telling me to motivate when you're showing your. No, just Let show that. And make that mun, huh? I want to let you know right now that if... So you're telling me if you You were, don't got to play no instruments. You don't got to fucking... I'm getting booked, I'm telling you right be now. Be motivational? For, for porno. It's unreal, you know? It really is. Unreal. Have you ever thought about uh, doing some uh, provocative gimmick for... Uh, like an OnlyFans for a male, but not... Dude, I have a friend from high school that uh, that does it. What and for a male? Ma and he makes a killing. He just puts on a. He Boston puts on. A, I don't know. He puts on a cock show. For <laughs> <laughs> he puts on a cock I'm, not I'm not paying for his fucking for his cock shows, you know. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't seen any of his. I don't know what he does, you know. But he advertises it all the time. Uh, who's this fucking? Uh, I he's got. Know. A, he's got a gimmick Is name. Guys and or girls? Who's watching? I mean, I'm, I I don't know. I haven't asked him, but I, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably dudes. Uh, it's probably dudes. It, it's probably it's probably gay dudes. I would imagine that are watching this. You know, Sheesh. I've never really met a fucking a girl that actually likes fucking getting and getting dick pics. And that's like, the and thing, like, you know what and I mean? like enjoy so seeing that's what I, that shit. That's what I heard. So I don't think girls really like to see that shit. I think that they like deal. to send their own pics, and they like to fucking like I don't know. Pretend that fucking they, I, don't, I don't know I don't think that they like to fucking they like to send to see fucking there just just cocks and you some know? motivation yeah 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 exactly motivation and yeah but I don't know, I don't know maybe I'm wrong I don't I I, just, I can't imagine a girl paying money out of her pocket her hard earned cash to fucking see some dude jerk off in his bedroom when she could literally turn on like fucking pretty much any website and see. Another, yeah, I another, another cock. I don't think it's the women. Know? I think it's the guys. There's sick. I think it's. Out there, I think it's know? probably the dudes, man. There's yeah. sick men out there that will pay for just about anything. Have you ever heard about uh, the guys sickos paying for these? Are uh, there wrestling shit? Custom. That, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm getting yeah. into. Yeah. Getting into custom matches. Have you ever heard about that? People, I've heard about custom matches. I know people that have done them. Yeah, I know people who have done them as well. And recently, uh, myself, I was I was asked to. You were asked to be in one. Of I them. was I was asked to be in one of these custom matches. So was you, were you asked by a, a gay dude or was it like a oh, promoter no, is, that runs these things? This is somebody who's uh, setting it up that I know. You know what I mean? You but, know somebody that that does the does the shoots. Yeah, I'm not going to. What do you call it? To blow their spot I'm up. I'm not going to blow but nobody's they're spot They're like the Doc Antle of the fucking, of the custom shit. But they are Doc Antle. They know how to get the shots, dude. <laughs> they know how to get the shots. So I was told, you know, straight up, I was told the prices, which was like, it was like 100 or something for a fucking 30 minute match. And if you wrestle for an hour, it was like $200. Yeah, I'm just blowing the spot right now. The insiders, 200 bucks. I was like, to wrestle around for an hour, just to do like holds and stuff. So I was like, all right, I'm in. I was like, I'm in. I'm doing this shit. I was like, that's fucking, I don't care what fucking, I'm, and that, but then I fucking started thinking. I was like, I was like, what the fuck? Am I going to be wrestling this diddler? Is that what it is? I'm wrestling a diddler? Yeah, it's some sellout shit. And they're, they're going to diddle fucking, me? Yeah, yeah, you're going to get diddled. I was like, am I going to get diddled by the diddler? Or is the diddler going to diddle me? I was like, what's the deal? So I fucking messaged that person. I was like, what's the deal? I was like, I don't want to... Um, Do you want me doing the diddling or getting diddled? I was like, I'm not getting... Di I was like, listen. I'm not getting diddled. I'm not getting diddled, and I'm not doing the diddling. I was like, 
what's the deal with this? And I heard that it's just fucking. Well, that's the thing. It's just dude. wrestlers you have to wrestling. Be a diddler you know what I mean? or you have to get diddled. So man, pretty much, you know? I mean, so I guess it's one or the other, man. If you don't want to, do so either, I guess. But here's the thing. I, I guess I'm going to be getting diddled, and I'm going to be diddling somebody. Are you doing this shit this weekend? I'm recording this shit. What? It's being. What? It's being. Bro, this is a lot of money, bro. Just to fucking do that shit for one hour, bro. Where is this? <laughs> We're gonna fucking film this shit at the NYWC wrestling. Academy. What? I swear to fucking god. But the person is not there. You know what I mean? Whoever is getting it, I don't know who's gonna watch this. I don't know what the deal is. I don't. I don't ever want to know. I wonder if it's an NYWC act who's fucking watching this tape, dude. I don't ever. He's gonna come to the shows now and fucking. I'll say you better buy my merch. Be ready to diddle. You better not touch me, and that's twenty dollars. Oh my god! Do you know who your uh, who, who your uh, partner is going to be? I know who I'm wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Is it uh, somebody that you're cool with? And you yeah, know, that's the thing. With? That's why I'm comfortable doing it. I, I was oh, freaking wow, out. Wow, wow, wow! I was freaking out because I thought at first I was like, "Holy fuck, am I going to be diddling somebody, or am I? Are they going to be there?" I, I, I at first I was like, "I don't even care if they're sitting in the corner," but, but then I, I was like, "That's a little weird too." But and then I was freaking out. Wait, so. you thought the person was gonna be in? The I thought they fucking... were. Like, I thought a lot of different things. A lot of different things went through my head after I said yes. Like I some Pee Wee Herman out. shit. So like some Pee Wee Herman shit. And I was like, "What the fuck?" I was like, "Are they gonna, gonna be get this guy a private booth? Are they gonna be in the ring?" I was like, "What's the deal with this shit?" I'm like, "I'm gonna be fucking touching them." But then I found out that's not the deal. So I was like, "All right." I was like, "I'm still in." <laughs> How much are these people paying for a, what, one of these matches? That's though? what I'm saying. I mean, if, if you're getting paid two hundred and your opponent's getting paid two hundred. How much does it cost to fucking buy this thing? I don't fucking know, nor do I fucking care. Like, where do you go to buy them, you know? Like, There's some dark web shit. They're looking for... Um, that's what, when I get fucking... When I make it somewhere, it's going to be like, here's Johnny Radkid's fucking customs. Fucking exposed. Have you seen anyone else's customs? No. Never seen it. Never know. I don't know really what I know, it is. Like, I know Seth Rollins has done them and shit. And I know people that have done that. Seth like, Rollins did that shit. He's fucking yeah. universal champion, motherfucker. But I've never, I've never fucking... I've never seen any. The thing is, customs. I trained, I trained, and I spent all. I don't this know what time. a customs match looks like, dude. Neither you know? do I, but I spent all this time to fucking make money, and that's not going to be my biggest payday. <laughs> That'd be my biggest payday yet. Yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah, that's kind of bugged out. Yeah, I swear to God, my biggest payday to this point is fifty dollars. And you're about to triple that. And I'm about to triple that with fucking an hour of work. When is it being shot? Saturday? I don't know. I think so. Saturday at noon, I think. One of those days at noon. So we got to talk about this in the next episode, man. Yeah, I'll let you know what the deal is. And, you know, I'll be ready. I'll be fucking... I got to go to the gym a couple more days. I want to look good for this customs. You know what I mean? I want these people to get what they paid for. They paid for Johnny fucking Radke, MBJ, man. Well, Jesus, they paid for that shit. So I want them to look, look at this shit. And I want them to bust a fat load. I don't want them to be like, oh, look at this fucking fat pig. I want them to fucking get into it. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's something else, man. You know, I that's mean, a way to end the show. You're huh? you're a crowd pleaser, dude. You know, I'll uh, I'll give you that. Fucking, <laughs> these people did pay. That's the thing; they did pay their money. You know, you know, these people are gonna pay. You know what I mean? They're gonna get what they paid for. I swear to fucking god, they're gonna get some fucking. I want. I'm gonna be like, all right, I want to do fucking crazy shit. I want to do a Canadian destroyer. It's like, no, you just gotta fucking hold them. You know, rah, 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 rah. talk dirty. Fucking That's what they want, right? They want you to talk. You know, you gotta fucking spit the fucking truth. You know, you gotta spit the truth. Maybe you gotta give. Are you your... gonna be talking like it's a fucking porno type shit? Dude? No. <laughs> like, like, what I... are you gonna be saying? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be coached through it. That's all I fucking know. This is fucking. This is gonna be so weird. This is gonna be the fucking. Uh, this is gonna be the cliffhanger. So if you're listening to this, the next fucking episode that comes out, we're gonna be talking about Johnny Radke's customs. Wow. Yeah. Good luck, dude. <laughs> It's not bad. The diddle is not going to be there. Look at back here. Look at that fucking triple belt man bun Jesus fucking mannequin right there. Look at that dirty ass right there. I swear to God. I love it. Oh, I fucking love shoot show. a custom with Kendall Sick Man outside fucking Medlife Stadium. Dude, I, I will fucking. You think is there fucking football going be, on? Gonna be Can we involved? go? Can we go to MetLife Stadium and like reenact the shit with just us, like nobody there? You know what I mean? <laughs> Pretty sure. How balls deep with that shit be? Where we get kicked out? Is there people even there? Is this COVID? Is it fucking football season? Can you go into the parking lot? I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I don't know, dude. I mean, I'm sure you. I don't know. Good question. I'll fly out, KSM. I'm sure you can. I'll fly that motherfucker out. We'll do <laughs> I, some crazy shit. We'll shoot at customs. We'll shoot at customs in MetLife Stadium Park. Involving a kind of sick. Oh, this is balls deep. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you <laughs> so much for tuning in to this episode of The Squatch and the Bun, number 15 to be exact. 
if you're checking this out on uh, Racky Radio Productions YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe to that. And we also got Johnny Racky TV. We got Man Bun Jesus TV, two other channels you must check out and subscribe to. And CJ, you're, you're going to be coming out with your own little YouTube channel soon, huh? Is that in the works? I still? think so, man. I think it is in the works. I'm just like trying to get used to the editing and shit. I've, I've, fil I've filmed and edited a couple of hiking videos. But I don't think I'm actually going to release them, honestly. I think I'm going to wait until Easy, I go on a backpacking trip, and I'm going to release my first, like, I'm going to do it as a backpacking channel. Well, let I me think. tell you, you know, when I, I might do it out, as a hiking channel. When I started out doing the vlogging thing, I have on it's awkward, man, at this first. other computer it's, here. It's weird at first, you know. I have days. I'm getting better at it, though. Days of footage, bro. Like, hours, like, fucking, you can sit there, and if you watched it through, it would be fucking days. Worth and I fucking don't post that shit anyway because it's fucking embarrassing. That's how I feel, man. That's how I feel. I feel like it's a little embarrassing, you know. Even now, I gotta I get, get over the hump and just post it. I get embarrassed. And but here's I don't the care. thing. Here's the thing. Is like I am a guy that like I've I watched some of these hiking vlogs from other people, and that shit is like low key like pretty cringe. Like some of them are, you know. You don't want to be. And the I, cringe. I feel like I feel like well well here's the thing though. They're like love, dude, and they have like millions of followers and. Like these people are like getting even though they're cringy, they're they're, they are the fucking guys doing it. And they're getting fucking you know people are sending them fucking merch and like fucking giving them free hiking gear and shit, and like they're being like sponsored to go on big hikes and like that's oh, so man. cool and like I think I'm funnier and more relatable <laughs> and better than they are you know, but I don't know I might save it for like a backpacking video I don't know I just started this challenge on uh two days ago where I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and hike. All 115 high peaks in the Northeast. And there's 115 peaks that are over 4,000 feet, which is pretty fucking cool. Most of them are in New Hampshire and the Adirondacks. The Adirondacks has 46. New Hampshire has 48. So if I do the 46 in the Adirondack and the 48 there, that puts me, you know, around 100. And then you have two in the fucking Catskills. So if I do all the ones there, I'll be at like about 100. And then I have to do some in Maine and some in Vermont. So I started this journey off the other day on Camel's Hump in Vermont. And that shit was so cool, man. And like it was just a really, really fucking awesome mountain to climb. And it was just like 360 degree views, the full panorama up there. And like fucking just just a wicked fucking beast of a mountain. That wicked. I, I loved it, man. And... I think maybe I'll maybe I'll fucking vlog those. Maybe I'll like uh, start putting some videos together of me like going after the Northeast 115, and I think that would be kind of like if I actually do do all of those mountains in a couple of years, like that'd be cool to have footage from each documented from each one, you know, like proof almost. You know? yeah, pr proof. <laughs> I fucking did it, you know. I did all 115. I think that'd be fucking cool. Here's the day live. We'll see. I'm working on it, you know. I gotta work on like I gotta work on my skills of like talking to a camera, shooting, and editing. I have to work on all of that shit. And I don't think I'm gonna release an episode until I think it's good enough. I hear that. But it took me a I, while. I am working on it. So maybe in the future you and it's also like what am I gonna name this channel? So if anyone has any good names, like, I don't know. Like, right now, I think it's called CJ Walks. But CJ like, Walks. I, I could change that shit. And I don't really know, you know. Most of these people that are famous, like, hikers on YouTube and shit, they have, like, trail names and shit because they've gone on a through hike and they've gotten a trail name. But until I go on you need a, a, until you I need go a on trail a, name. Until, until I go on a long through hike and get a trail name, I'm not going to just make a trail name up, you know. You need to be I have blessed. to fucking earn. I have to get a trail name, you know. So it's like fucking, I don't know. My name is CJ, so maybe I'll just make it CJ Walks. I don't really know what it's going to be called, but we'll see, you know? He's strutting, folks. We'll see. Unreal. So make sure you subscribe to those gimmicks. You can also follow at Man Bun Jesus on... Uh... Psychedelic Sasquatch on Instagram for now is what my thing is. So that is my main source of social means, I would say. That is your spot. At Psychedelic Sasquatch. I have the Twitter, at Bigfoot underscore Benson. Don't really like Twitter as much. Like I said, they censor the fuck out of you. They're coming after Trump every time he posts. I don't posts. fuck with Twitter, dude. It's like some cuck shit, man. And everyone I see on Twitter is a bitch, dude. They're constantly complaining and being Twitter. negative and fucking. I fucking hate Twitter. If it wasn't for wrestling, I wouldn't fucking have a Twitter, yo. I really only do it for fucking wrestling shit. But I just hate Twitter. I love TikTok. I've been active on that. Maybe I'll get a TikTok. I keep saying I won't. But you need I think to get I, on there. I think I will, dude. You'll and get I think over. I, maybe I could make like. I think maybe like my hiking vlog thing will give me more confidence on TikTok because like you can make these short, quick videos and like 
I can get to the point quick and show you the mountains and and TikTok, you can that fucking. Would be cool. I like honestly, uh, since I fucking started posting shit on TikTok, I think I gained like twenty subscribers on my YouTube channel from from TikTok. Just TikTok. Wow. Alone, so that's what's up. I fuck with TikTok. That is cool. And fucking, this is balls deep night, ladies and gentlemen. We are coming to the end of this game. Is there anything else you want to throw at them, CJ? Before we uh. No, that's all I could think of. Before we man. vibe out for the fucking. People, all the, um, I don't even know. You know how to find us. You know where it is. Buy the fucking t-shirts, dude. I fucking, I got another one. It's on the way. ProWrestlingTees.com. More shirts man. on the way. Bun Jesus. And folks, it is so listen closely and about see if that you time. Can follow the directions oh, that I give. And get ready because later on, on we're going to dance. We're going to dance, bitch. If you're a boy. Clap your hands. Ladies and gentlemen, that's so unreal. Bulls deep shit. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Squatch and the Bun episode 15. And you know how it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, Man Bun Jesus loves you. Have a good day, a groovy night. Do the do, fill the fridge, and remember every single day of your life to stay gold. And we'll talk to you next time. If you're a kid, dance around, dance, dance around. If you're a kid, dance around, dance, dance around, and stop. If you're a boy, a boy, if you're a boy, raise the roof. head in your pregnancy. You caught on that anyone. No, now you have a baby. Don't panic! There is a secret safe place for newborns! Safe babies! Safe place! Safe haven! Helpline! 1877798 Hope!